and welcome to Tanmora episode five. Uh, in the previous episode, we mostly went in tournaments and arenas. And in this episode, uh, we're at Wurchag. Um, oh, we actually beat a small group of Sea Raiders as well. And the character, his health is up to 33 out of 49. And his experience is 1,081 out of 1,360. So we are definitely making progress. And uh, let's enter the tournament. Join tournament. Fight in next round. I need to be better about getting caught in crowds like that. All right, let's go to the arena. All right, I'm new, so we do the introductions and we get to the talking about the male e fights, and I say I'm going to participate in that. Oh, I almost got that staff. Ugh. Quite a bruise I'm sporting. Let's go again. Oh my goodness. I got to try and get at least one guy knocked down here. Bruise, let's fight again. One down. Whoa. Oh my goodness, both those guys got me. Forgive me, let me go in one more. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't know how to do that as an archer. Um, will there be a tournament nearby? Kudan and Cheriz. Let's go travel to the next tournament. Uh, Kudan is the next closest. I need to do better blocking. And being careful that I get caught in crowds. We use the right hand key to um, block on the mouse and the left hand click to um, swing. And you move the mouse in the direction you want to block. Cabbages 28, grain 17. So I'll grab some grain. And we are heading to Kudan. So let's go to Mason. We need to be a little careful about large groups of sea raiders.
We're moving at 4.9 right now, and I'm at 77%. And now I have a sword and shield. We'll head to the bridge. We have probably enough food. Twelve Tundra Bandits. We have 23. This is probably uh, the right size group for us to fight. So... We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Did you see that other group nearby just as we reach these Tantra bandits? If they join in the battle, we might be tied or outnumbered. Um, let's see. The Tega bandit says, well, well, look at this. You best start coughing up some silver, friend, or me and my boys have to break you. And I'll say I'll give you nothing but cold steel. I have 22 against their 12. Well, F1, F1, then 1, F2, F1 to move the infantry. One, The number 1 stands for the infantry, and that will move them ahead of the archery units. So charge the enemy, F1, F1, and actually... I want them right here, F1, and then 1, F2, F1. Let me see if I can distract them. Zero, F1, F3 to charge. Whoops. Crud. Well, I didn't do that very well. Four tribesmen killed, one crossbowman killed, two spearmen killed. I had six killed, they had eight killed. I have ten wounded, they have four wounded. Pretty bad results. Although I gained a level, Ralph gains a level, and we can promote some of these guys. So there's two, three spearmen still alive. So I'll upgrade two more for spearmen. And for the Rodok, train crossbowmen. Um, I have three, four, five, three, four, five, although some of them are out. So we're down to 17 people. Let's see what we got. Balance, Javelins, and Jareds. Nomad Bow requiring power draw two. Boots plus 11. This shield has resistance 4. 
while my Nordic shield only has resistance one. The size is 79, but the Nordic shield size is 100. I'll keep that. Plus 14 helmets, no, and plus 22 on the armor. Let's see. I got 183 dinar. Mm. Let's go to the party. Talk to Ralph. Look at his equipment. His helmet's plus 22. These helmets do not match that. So you see the Sea Raiders give much better equipment. And they we did better against those Sea Raiders. Uh, the armor is plus 22 plus 8. That's better than the plus 22 alone. Plus 14 boots, and these are plus 11 boots. Uh, so... And I don't think he he has power draw too, so he can't use that bow. So I don't we don't need any of this equipment. And um oh let's upgrade Ralph. So talk his skills. So how do we want to grow Ralph? Um Plus one surgery. Um, plus one first aid. So let's grow Ralph on um, first aid. So I'm going to increase his intelligence. Gives me two points since he already has one in first aid. I do want somebody for surgery, but um, Ralph is going to f have to fight. So, um, wound treatment. We'll do first aid for him since he already has some in that. And he's using a single weapon. And now my guy, character, strength, one more, puts him up at 15. So I'll increase my power strike by one up to five. Next, I'll start increasing my agility and um, improve my one-handed weapons as high as I can since that's what I'm using. Um, we have about 16 more minutes left on this. All right. 14. Let's see if we can get away. I'm not interested in actually fighting these people. He's following me, and he's at 5.1. I'm at 5.0, and there's six there. Everything has a price, even your life. Mm, we're going to fight, of course, unfortunately. I give you nothing but cold steel. I'll let them attack. See what we can do to help our guys out. The goal here will be to decrease the number that attack my troops. And maybe get them to expend their arrows. And spread them out.
By doing this, they're not firing at my troops. That leaves just a couple of them near my troops. I've got four of them chasing me. We're going to lose a guy there. Oh, well. All right, they got him. While they're shooting at them, doesn't look like they're hitting anybody. One, there's one separate from the others. goal here is to take as little damage as I can while my guys oh that was a bad Well, we got them. He's out and they're out. I better upgrade this guy while I can. And you know what? I'm going to upgrade these guys too. So, and move the veteran crossbowman up. Um, actually, behind where the spearman would be at. And I'll upgrade three spearmen and two crossbowmen. And we'll save this. These 14 guys are gonna cause us problems. Let's see if we can escape them. Oh, you know what? If we can get to this village, we can recruit volunteers. We kind of are desperate for those men. So, fortunately, we need those people because everybody is knocked out. 
and we'll upgrade those Vagers to the Vager archers. Meanwhile, let's head to Kudan, see if we can escape these guys. We can do this the easy way. Oh my well, goodness. All right, same strategy. We'll try and distract as many of them as we can from our troops. Give you nothing but cold steel. Charge the enemy, F1, F1, then one, F1, F2, and then one, F3. Oops, I made a mistake on the controls. They take me prisoner. Boy, continue. I've lost all my troops. I have 434 dinars. Somehow we need to run. Let's go this way. See if we can get to Kudan for the tournament, at least. Boy. That really, we still have 12 renown, so we have grown. I'm going to save this. I'm not going to go back. We will just do our best to rebuild. All right, let's join the tournament. Actually, we'll do the tournament maybe. Uh, let's sell what we've got here. The arms. It's kind of interesting we get left with our equipment. That's 608 dinars. And armor. Thirty four dinars and nothing's cheap enough to that it's worth buying. All right, let's let's join the tournament. We'll just fight in the next round. Uh, no.
If I can get a dagger. Where's that archer? Oh. How'd he do that? Let's go to the arena. Same thing. You're new here. Care to share your name? About the melee fights. And yes, I will fight in one. I got a staff. Oh my goodness. Let's try one more. Back in. And more is determined to become better at this. There's two guys. Oh my goodness. Got one guy down. to leave now. Oh, I need to ask him where the next tournaments are at. <sighs> Jel so the next tournaments are in Jelkala, Praven, and Toga. And while we work on going to the tournaments, we're going to get new troops. So we're at 1785 experience, 16 health, uh, 1785 out of 2296. We're at 59 on one-handed weapons, 52 on two-handed, 85 on archery. And let's go to Tizmir and see if we can recruit anybody. One recruit. Do we want to go to Tyr, Kudan, or Wurchek? Uh, Kudan? No, no, Jel. Kala, Praven. Let's go back and ask again where the. Um, I think it's Jelkala, Praven, or Talga, actually. Jel Let's head to Praven while picking up some troops. We move at 3.3 .3 at night with what we have. I'm at 35%. Ralph's at 43. Uh, let's see if we can avoid these guys.
recruit volunteers at Alberman. 20 dinar for two Vager, so 10 dinar each. Um, nothing's, well, the furs are 273. As long as furs are under, generally if furs are in the 200s, that's a pretty good price. Uh, I have found they sell for around 400 at other places, so we'll buy the furs for 273. Tools 512, that's too much. Okay, and let's go to Tabandra and see if we can get any more troops from there. Right now, we've got about three Vager, uh, Vager troops. Recruit six. That's 60 dinars. Grain is just 12, so we'll buy some of that. Hides 104. Generally, for hides, if they're under 90, it's a good price. Okay, so we have 689 left. Um, let's go to Amir. We're heading to Praven. Right now we've got about 10 of the Vagers in our party. I'd like to have about 20 troops, not including my whatever companions I have. Got four Swadians. Grain three, that's a good price. Bread 18, that's a good price. So plenty of food for the troops. Praven is to the right. All right, let's stop at Dirham. We'll fight in the arena. Fourteen, so we got nine Vager archers, Vagers, I mean, to be archers. Let's stop at Ushkuru and add some Swadian recruits. Six Swadian recruits, that's good. Grain three, we're definitely going to take some of that. We may sell some of the extra grain. Okay, we are at 19 troops. That's pretty good. And let's see what we can get for the furs at the marketplace. 367. Now remember, we bought in the 200s. So that's a good, we'll make a little more than 100. The grain's fairly cheap here, so we're not going to make anything. The wine, uh, we want to sell it for well over 200 We buy it for under 200 All right? And we will fight in the arena in the um, next episode, and we will probably try and grab some Nord um, troops to to build what are they called um huskarls so uh see you in the next episode